we have received uh, at least 33 separate uh, bomb threats. Springfield, Ohio, at the center of a national firestorm over Haitian immigrants. Ohio Governor Mike DeWine enlisted state police to help protect schools in Springfield. Springfield was thrust into the spotlight when Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump and his running mate, Ohio Senator J.D. Vance, repeated false claims that Haitian immigrants have been killing and eating cats and dogs. Tonight, we're hearing from a part of Metro Atlanta's Haitian American community, which has been thrust into the national debate on immigration. Uh, Fox News' Rob Durienzo joins us at the live desk tonight with a response from one proud member of Atlanta's Haitian American population. Hey there, Rob? guys. Good evening to you both. Well, it's uh, been an emotional few days for many Haitian Americans after former President Trump and his running mate, J.D. Vance, made those bogus claims about Haitian immigrants in Springfield, Ohio. With Senator Vance here in Metro Atlanta, I heard from one member of our Haitian community. Haitians are not eating uh, pets. Haitians come to this country like just like any uh, immigrants who come to this country like is to, you know, uh, to, for a better life. Greg Maurice came to the U.S. from Haiti when he was 13, graduated Norcross High, and went on to become an entrepreneur in the movie industry. He says recent claims that his people are eating pets and waterfowl are disgusting. The conversation that's being had about immigrants is unacceptable, and that's not what we represent. Officials in Springfield, Ohio, and the woman who first posted about it say it was a complete lie. Before J.D. Vance's visit to Cobb County on Monday, on Sunday, he acknowledged to CNN's Dana Bash that the story wasn't exactly true. I have just to a meme. create stories so that the American media actually pays attention to the suffering of the American people, then that's what I'm going to do, Dan. There's no need for you to create lies because you think it's going to get picked up by the media. It's, it's unacceptable. Maury says here in Georgia, he's worried about these lies being used at school to torment kids with Haitian backgrounds. They're going to bring those type of stories like to bully, you know, those young Haitian Americans. On top of Maurice's work in show business, he started a professional learning platform for immigrants called Zaka. He says instead of destroying the American way of life, immigrants have improved it. 51% of Fortune 500 companies are being run by people like from the immigrant community. We are here to contribute to uh, to your economy, to your community. We came to this country like to uh, just like most people in this country like to achieve the American dream. Guys, data from the Atlanta Regional Commission shows more than 25,000 Haitian people call Metro Atlanta home. DeKalb and Cobb counties have the largest Haitian populations. At the Live Desk, Rob DiRienzo, Fox 5 News.